There we go, we are live and I'm on camera now. So welcome everybody. How's everybody doing? It's Shoshi and we are, it is Wednesday. It's Whip Trip Wednesday. So how's everybody doing? Batulur 61 is here, Era Monks and Benjamin's Prime. Yay! Glad to have you guys here. We're gonna be doing a building stream today, so it's gonna be pretty chill. The nice thing about building is I don't usually have to take my glasses off too much. Tay McNoll, Valoris, Valorous Dark, thank you so much for coming by. Sorry, I don't mean to be so loud. Mike's telling me I'm too loud. <laughs> Good afternoon. It is afternoon and it is Wednesday, so don't forget Whip Trip 
Wednesday. Get your get your uh, stuff into the gallery. Hold on one second. It looks like Tom Banjo TV. Tom, wait, Tom Banjo Banjo VT. There we go. I'm gonna do exclamation point web trip so that you guys can get everything put into the gallery that you want to show off. Show and tell. Get your criticism and comment comments on your latest endeavor. Um, post your photos in the live image gallery section of the Discord. Don't forget, if you don't want me to comment or crit critique it, that's totally fine. I don't have to do that at all. You saw my praying mantis in one of the groups, and I had to get a tool to get my jaw off the ground. Do you guys want to see? Oh, I can't. It's upstairs. Maybe I can get Mike to go get it for me. Would you be willing to do that? You don't have to do anything. I'm not listening to you. I don't know what you mean. Do you want to go get my praying mantis off the shelf upstairs? You don't have to. Yeah. He's going to go get it. Thank you, Mike. He's unhappy with me, though. <laughs> yeah, it did turn out. Not only did it look just like how I wanted it to, but I'm, I'm really psyched. So, we have here a Hellboy miniature from Mantic Games. It's part of the Kickstarter rewards. It was a little bit of a... Oh, I guess that goes in there, yeah. So, I'm going to be... Oh, you know what? Okay, for a second I thought... Where's his tail? Oh, no! Is he missing a tail? Oh, no, it's just... It's right here. <gasps> Thank you, baby. All right, take a look. Mike went and got my Mantis for me. Isn't that awesome? Let's see if I can show it off on camera without messing it up. There we go. I really tried to make it... It, need, it needs a coat of gloss varnish. It's got matte, matte varnish on it right now. But it needs a coat of gloss. It, which The matte looks great on the wood. But it looks so much better when the when the mantis itself has the gloss varnish on it. I just don't have, I don't think I have any gloss varnish. So if you're interested in knowing how I did these eyes, I painted just the bottom of them and then stuck them on. So this is actually like almost having a stained glass effect. So you can see how it just looks clear, but when you see the bottom, it's like it luminesces up through the top. So, yeah, if you guys are ever interested in having me paint a garage kit, that's something I'm trying to branch into right now. It's a lot easier for me because the because um, my eyes are not so great. So I'm going to put this over in my photo booth over here because I do need to take some pictures of him. There we go. So yeah, I'm excited. That turned out really awesome. And I'm going to be doing the bug fairy on stream. I needed, I needed to be able to do uh, that, that praying mantis for myself. I, I, I know you probably would have liked to see it live, but I really needed to do that for myself. And it really, like, it was very fast. I got it done in like two nights, technically, probably two days. So what is going on? He's got a big chunk of flash right here under his arm. Might have to get some clippers to clip that out. What do the geckos think of the mantis? No, the geckos have not seen the mantis. But um, the cat has. And Bear, he wanted to, he definitely wanted to get at it. It was really funny. All right, so glasses are going to be somewhat off right now. I'm going to go in here. And trim off these little mold lines which is a lot easier on there we go so how's everybody been doing Does anybody have any plans for this weekend tonight I'm planning on watching a webinar I know it's gonna sound boring to you guys but it's a webinar for how to collect and sow native seeds so that you can plant them and that is what i'm going to be watching today i know if like you guys are like snooze but it's a lot cheaper than buying plants and like i said i've got this bird garden so i'm wanting to propagate as well 
there's a lot of little like bumps on this guy there we go your day office is is this weekend you're mostly sleeping and resting hi pun expected hello hello what did i mean the trick is to paint so like imagine this is my clear glass eyeball or clear resin eyeball it's already it's like frosted and it's clear but i paint the back of the eye so that when you so like let's say this is this is the color this pink is the color of my paint it's showing right through right it's, it's but it's frosted so it let's say this is frosted see how you can see the pink through it kind of this is better there we go you can see the pink through it so the back of the eye is the only thing I painted. I didn't paint the front of the eye. But yeah, so that's how I did it. There's another big piece of flash in his coat. What? <laughs> so what else has been going on? What do you guys want to talk about? Anything? Any, any hot topics? Not, not too hot. Obviously, no politics. <laughs> we could talk about Lionel Johnson. That is one of the... So I have three models here that I'm planning on building. We're going to work on doing building the horse heresy mount. So I realized that um, for my schedule, I goofed up my own schedule a little bit this week or this month, but that's why I'm doing this stream to kind of make up for it. I'll show you the schedule that I'm talking about that I goofed up. So if you look on Instagram, Friday was supposed to be a building stream for October Fessaya. And I totally just, I, sh I already had her built. So I didn't build her. So we had an extra day in here, which I hadn't planned for. We already painted October Fessaya. Um, and today is the seventh. So there's an ex there's basically a free day in here. And then we're going to have another free day. So I think I may end up painting, making next Friday or this Friday, sorry, I might actually make it into a painting stream for the, um, the nightmare Ram. Cause I, I was trying to fit that into the schedule, but I couldn't earlier. Now I can. Hi Rumbo. How are you? We've got Hellboy from Mantic Games. And we also have the scribe who I have outfitted with a mankini because he has, he has bits you shouldn't be able to see on Twitch. So he has his own little mankini. Um, so, but I've got the scribe. He is, he is naked and look at all these hands and arms. So he's wearing, it's like a game of Thrones chair, but with arms. So I'm going to have to figure that out. This is what we're also building. Look at, there are more arms and, and even more arms. So this is, this is going to be crazy because I, I have no directions and I don't think anybody has ever tried to build a scribe on Twitch. <laughs> Mankini. <laughs> I am positive that there is probably not a Yiddish word for Mankini. Ravage, do you want me to pick a different word? Since, since you've got, yeah, there, there's, I, I think that's a new word. So Yiddish is an older language. <laughs> I will look, I will look for a cool Yiddish word though here. Um, maybe there's a Yiddish word for naked. I bet there is. I bet there is. Yes, go for it. Oh, naked, naked is the word for naked with the T on the end. Naked. <laughs> There's got to be a better word than that. Hmm. Let's see if I can find another word for it. All right, I couldn't find it, but let me find a better Yiddish word here. Let's see. Yiddish words. I like to just go to the 
go to Google and just Google Yiddish words. The other day we had some good ones. You just looked up dignity or lack of in reference to Mankini. <laughs> okay, here's the 30 best Yiddish words. This is cute. 30 best Yiddish words. Okay. Balabuska. That's an interesting word. The ultimate Jewish home worker, home, homemaker is a balabusta. Bupkis. We've already done bupkis. Kvel. We've done kvel. Mensch. Kvetch. Oh, did I teach you guys kvetch? Kvetch is what people do when a new Warhammer um, rules update comes through. They kvetch. And it means to complain. I think it means it's a specific version of complain. Hold on. To complain, as in, if Mordecai had studied as much as he kvetched about the MCTs, he would have gotten into med school. To complain. Ah, <laughs> oh, don't be such a kvetcher. <laughs> yep, to gripe, exactly. To complain or gripe. Nice. Kvetch. Kvetch and moan. Oi, oi, oi. Usually when you're kvetching, you're, you're saying oi, oi, oi. I'm going to try not to cut myself. You like Yiddish word of the day? <laughs> That's great. I think it's fun. And we all learn something, right? Cultural exchange. All right. Now, did you guys see that? I cut this and there's a giant bubble right there in the, in the, uh, try to cut this. Now I want to show you what I do with these bubbles. There's another one on this side. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just cut this all the way out to get that bubble to completely show itself. There we go. And now we can, uh, what I'll do is I'll fill it with Bondic. Do I have Bondic candy? Let me see. You gotta love that every, okay. So I want to know what is your, if you, if you're bilingual, if you speak English and another language, what is your, your languages word for complain? I like to compare because sometimes they can be really similar, especially the Slavic languages the slavic and german what is what is your word for complain i know so i know that english they say uh oh uh, dang it I'm, I'm trying to think i know what it is but i'm trying to think hold on Mi no wait i almost said the wrong word carry is latin Mecken, belagen, beschweren. I <laughs> like that, beschweren. Okay, mecken. Beklagen. And beschweren. Did I pronounce it good? S C H W E R N. This is German. Mi yeah, whinge. That was the word I was. I almost said the M. Whinge, Sethany, and I. That would be a bad word. <laughs> a different word. <laughs> whinge is what what the English people say. Don't quit your whinging. There we go. Australians say whinge as well. So this is English. In Michigan, the word for complainer is a Michigan fan. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Benjamin's Prime. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> ah. Truth. That's so funny. Okay, I got out my 
and I need my little light here. Make sure it works. Okay, sometimes the bumble, bulb goes out. Oh, klaga in Swedish. Is it? So, Swedish is svenska. Is klaga. I love it. By the way, the Swedish word for Swedish is svenska. <laughs> if you didn't know that already. Okay, so I'm gonna, so you can see it's, it's bubbled up a little bit, but I can cut that off, maybe. Let me light that up. There we go, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five 1,000. That should be enough, okay? See now, we can go ahead and we can slice this so that it is level. There we go, perfect. And same thing, gently. That's why I love Fondic is because you can, oh, there we go. I've filled it perfect and now it's, now it's all level. All right. And then there's a couple other little bubbles that are very small. I might have to widen those. They're almost too small to fill. We'll do it anyway. What's the Spanish word for complain? Does anybody know? Or the Portuguese words to complain? Carlos is here. Are you, you know the words for, I think Carlos is, speaks Portuguese. Okay. Now I can smooth it out ahead of time. That way I won't need to level it with the blade. And then we're gonna light it up again. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000. Perfect. Ah, Wait, reclamar, queixar, depending on the situation. I'm going to write these down, reclamar. So to complain is reclamar. Wouldn't it be funny if a people who show up, who are bilingual, show up and they see all these words for complaining. <laughs> And Kehar, I think X is pronounced with the H sound. I'm going to mess that up. Kehar. Hello, Rogue. Rogue Sminja, how are you? You'll pick some up. Bondic is amazing. Okay, let's see. Okay. There we go. We're writing down, this one is, is this Portuguese? Carlos? Is it Portuguese? I wanna make sure we, we write down the right thing. I think uh, reclamar is also Spanish. Okay, yes, it is Portuguese. There we go. Perfect. All right, we're ready for that. Okay, I'm looking for the mold lines now. Here's a small one right here. When I'm cleaning models, I'm always just looking over, especially with these resin ones, they are a lot easier to clean because you can just scratch, easily scratch off the, the mold line. So that was right here. So now we have to go all the way up just to look and see. See, there's another spot right here. So is anybody else building models today? We can You can build with me or are you painting? 
Some people like to lurk in paint. And that is totally fine. Don't forget it's whip trip day. So don't forget to put your whip trip stuff in the whip trip gallery. When we get a few more people in the chat, we'll show off the mantis one more time. Because there's a lot of people who didn't get to see that. We finished painting a mantis. Okay, so I'm seeing a whole lot of a whole lot of spots right here that I gotta cut off. Some painting, some assortum KDM survivors. Like I said, we're gonna we're gonna try to put together this scribe. We'll see what happens to him. Acrylic Chemist says, I only had a bit of time to pop in today. Well, thank you for coming by. I really do appreciate it. You know, when you guys come by and say hi, even if you can't stay, I love it. I love it. And I totally understand. Everybody's got busy stuff to do. Sometimes it's worth it just to come by and see what's happening and see if... if <laughs> If you need to watch the VOD later and all that. By the way, for anybody listening, I am really interested in finding to paying somebody to help me upload some. So I've got a whole bunch of YouTube videos uploaded. I know this is like, I don't even know why I'm asking this, but I thought I would at least put it out there. If somebody's interested and needs a little extra cash, I'm looking for a helper to basically put descriptions in my YouTube videos. I've already got a template completely ready and just all you're gonna have to cut and paste and then just fill out the tags and the descriptions. And it's really easy. It's just time consuming and it's one thing that I just, just need help with because I get very over overwhelmed by it. So if you know somebody out there who wants to do that, I can, like I said, I can pay per video and a little extra cash in the, in the model kitty. But yeah, I'm looking for somebody to do that for me. And I thought, you know, I might as well ask the, the Twitch stream and see if anybody's got time. You just never know. Okay. There we go. And even if even if nobody here is interested, um, maybe you know somebody who is who you know, like I said, has some extra time. The problem with me is when I get onto YouTube to start doing my descriptions, I start watching YouTube, and then I can't ever get anything done. So that's why, like, I need to pay somebody to do it as a job. It's so, so embarrassing. <laughs> you can't work, so you have loads of free time? That's a lure. I will send you a message, okay? That would be awesome. Are you, are you able to accept payment? And if you can't accept payment, because it might, like, hurt benefits or something, we can maybe do a, a painting trade instead. Maybe I paint something for you. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Thank you, Bachelor. I appreciate that. See? That's awesome. Yeah, it's something that really won't take long for somebody who's, you know, interested. Okay, let's see here. Just again, cutting all the mole lines off. I forget he's got this he's got this fist that's kind of like a demon hand. All right, we got almost everything off. <gasps> and just checking the top of his head and the face for mold lines of any kind. You know, the mold lines are the ones you always find <laughs> once you have um, primed it so annoying that way. I'm going to cut these things off his feet. 
By the way, today is my anniversary with Mike. 14 years. Happy anniversary, Mike. Happy anniversary, Sashay! <laughs> We're going to go out to dinner on Friday because um, it just worked out to be better that way. It's closer to payday, too. There we go. 14 years. I met Mike in a vampire LARP. Not saying it right. <laughs> what? I'm not saying it right. I'm not saying it right? How do I say it? I met Mike in a vampire. I met Mike in a vampire life. Is that better? <laughs> we, we've we've always been nerds. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Happy <Wappy> anniversary! <laughs> I know. Congratulations! Who is long suffering wife or husband? I actually don't think either one of us has been suffering. We're very, very happy, which is really great. I mean, one thing that I learned during COVID and basically being s stuck together for how long was it? A few months? And, you know, him not being able to work outside the home and is that we really like each other. And we, I, I felt really guilty during the lockdown because I was having my, I was living my best life with my best friend. So that I was very grateful because I've been, I've been in a bad marriage before and I know this is like so different and so much better. <laughs> there we go. Click this. There we go. All right. And then. I don't think this is, I think I can cut this off. There we go. His tail is connected to his, his gun, which is interesting. I wouldn't have thought to do that, but as my grandparents would say, 14 years is a good start. I love it. Meshuggah na mishpacha. Yep, exactly. <laughs> For those of you guys who missed Wednesday's stream, Meshugana means crazy and mishpacha means like extended family so you guys are my mishpacha right we're, we're you're my mishugan mishpacha <laughs> crazy my crazy family oh this is really bendy i'm worried that this is going to break i'm going to be very very careful with this tail yeah let's see this is the only thing holding that together once I get it glued, it'll be okay. Just get it. There we go. And there's a nice, nice little mold line right there, too. <laughs> All right. There's a key. Oh, that, that's why it broke. Let's add a little bondic to strengthen it. Because I don't want it to break. Bondic is a weld. And it's going to work just perfect right there there we go okay now push that together hit it with the light one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand four one thousand five one thousand now it's not bending see not great love bondic so this is a um, it's kind of like that dental um, adhesive that the dentist puts your fillings in with it's a resin that you know is um, UV light reactive so it hardens with UV light so it's awesome it took you 502 years to meet my wife she's from Texas and was my best friend first before it came to anything more yes that's the same thing with me and Mike you have to keep saying it or you forget 52 years okay took you 52 years yeah that's awesome So this, did we just talk about Bondic? You're going to ask if you're immortal. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, we can throw this away. Now we have to clip off this little piece of, there's a little piece of, of extra material, extra resin. 
There we go. If I can clip it with the clippers, it's gonna save me time trying to cut it. All right. So Mike and I met when Sophia was three months old. I was still married to my ex-husband, but it wasn't a good relationship. And Mike was like pretty much just a family friend for many years. Um, for And then I divorced in 2005. And like Mike was, again, he was my best friend. And I actually was very worried about dating him in the beginning because I had been through so much loss that I couldn't risk um, messing it up with my best friend and losing him too. So we, we tried to date a little bit, but then I ended up breaking it off because um, I still needed to heal. And then uh, months later, we, uh, we started dating again and the rest is history. And so then I got married to my best friend. All right, that looks perfect. Ooh, uh, okay, so there's, this actually needs to be, we're gonna pin this. I'm gonna show you, we're gonna show you how I'm gonna pin it. I think that will work out great if I pin it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just make this a little bit bigger. We're gonna get out a drill. Um, find one with the, here's a, here's one with a drill bit in it. Got a dash, do some yard with Ari Valor Strike, you have a good one. <laughs> okay, so I will push this into the middle here. Hopefully it won't go all the way through his arm. I've been doing a lot more pinning and stuff, especially with my this horse heresy box. <laughs> All right, that see that doesn't have a long ways to go through, so we don't want to overdrill it. We don't want it to go through the other side. Okay, that's probably good enough. And now, sometimes you can just, see how it has this little outy part on it? Sometimes you can just drill right in the middle of that. I don't think that's, I could try it. Sometimes it doesn't work. It just kind of splits open. I think that's what this is gonna do. All right, we'll just try. Yeah, see, it, it just, it's not going to, we're going to cut it off and then drill straight into it. We don't need to cut it entirely off. We can leave a little bit there. This piece, this piece. And again, this is very thin, so we have to be pretty precise with this. A smaller drill bit would also be probably better, but I want to use a paper clip as my pin. All right, there we go. We've got a good start now. See how we can, this is called sh swirl. I think it's called swirl, this little resin stuff. Let's see how quickly I can get this drilled. Cause I know watching me drill resin is fascinating. One of the reasons why I like build streams so much is because you guys get to chit chat with me a little bit more. So, okay, that's that's probably good. Now I need a paper clip. Got a box of paper clips, and I think I think I'm gonna try the smaller paper clip. I feel like that might be a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, maybe I can use a bigger one. It's a little bit too small. So 
find a big paper clip. There we go. Let's unfold this. Dry fit it. Yeah. Well, okay, it's good enough. Um, I'm going to drill it just a little bit more. Very good. Bachelor says the thing is you have to be sure when marrying an American in the UK, the US has a no returns, no refunds policy in place. Really? What do you mean? I... <laughs> so she can't have dual citizenship? That's so funny. This stream adds a lot of words to my vocabulary. Look at all the words we have. Yes. These are, this is the German words for to complain. This is the English. Quetsch is Yiddish. This is, there we go. Uh, another, like the English, British English is whinge. And in Swedish, klaga. Portuguese, reclamar. And keihar. Is that right, keihar? I think I got it right that time. Okay, yeah. Okay. You kvetch too much. Yes, all gamers kvetch a lot. That's okay. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to just notice the tail connects to it. So it gives another point of stability. Okay. Your father told my wife to be the same thing. No deposit, no return. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Did I say schmutz? Or are you just typing it so that I will say it? I don't think I said it. <laughs> All right. Almost. I think that'll be good enough. Yeah. Perfect. See? We're going to add a little super glue. I'm really, so ever since I started using a pin in my super glue, there's so much less schmutz on my super glue. She just says that to wind you up. So far, immigration costs 6,000 uh, pounds with another 1.9 last action. That's not bad. That's not bad. Morning, beautiful people. Lady B. Lady B, what is the, the Australian word for complain? I know whinge. You guys say whinge as well, don't you? Maybe maybe it's a swear word in Australia. You love the Jewish word? Kvetch is, kvetch is, our, is our word for complain or gripe. <laughs> so we also like to share. If, you have, if, you, if you're bilingual, we like to see what, what other words um are in the same language or in the same same word all right let me go put that pin in there and then i always like to take a little piece moaning and whinging yeah i feel like there's rhyming slang for moan whinge and moan i feel like something in phone telephone telephone is rhyming slang, isn't it? Somebody, somebody correct me on that. Use, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> it's great. Oh, that's a good one. I never, is that for English? Is that for English? Got any geezer talk or rhyming slang for moaning? Yeah, Ravage. <laughs> geezer talk. Giza, he's a diamond geezer. <laughs> Gocha, gocha. It's Japanese. Oh, there we go. Keihar. And is that Spanish school? Because that's very similar. So we're going to put over here Keihar. 
case shy. And then what do we also say? I think telephone is li is rhyming slang. I could swear it is. Telephone. Maybe telephone? So that might be rhyming slang. Somebody else can... I can't spell rhyme. There we go. Rhyming slang. Dog and bone. Yes, that's it. That's it. It's dog and bone. That's it. <laughs> dog and bone. Garden gnome. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. <laughs> Actual hobbying for a change, so may not respond to cat. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to cut this pretty short because... Remember, we drilled that hole pretty short as well. And actually, I'm not even going to use those. These are proper wire clippers right here. Data-driven skills. Welcome to the chat. Thank you so much for joining us. Boom. There. So that's a little bit long, I think. We'll try to put it in and see. Oh, no. It fit. It's going to fit perfect. All right. You might even... Drill it a smidge. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and glue it. Glue it right here. Uh oh, it's breaking again. Dang it. Arg. Well, put that in there. Now, I do have to take off my glasses for this. I'm going to try to s attach the tail. Oops. Dog and moan. Dog and bone. Oh, it's... Oh, no! It broke off. All right, we're going we're gonna to reattach it with glue. Maybe glue and bondic. Ah! I just glued my finger to it. No! Hold on, hold on. Ah, fail. This is why people love uh, building streams is because of this kind of thing. Okay, come on, stay. No. <laughs> now my fingers are glued together. No, they're not. Okay. Ah. All right. It's, it's attached both to my finger and to the, the model. Stop. Ah, finally. Okay. Ah! <laughs> what a pain. Okay, we're going to try to attach that back. Let's put a little bondic right here. Try to bridge the gap a little bit. Now we can push this toward it. And now we can hit it with the light. Oi! What a pain. See, I'm fetching. I'm fetching because... I glued my fingers together. Fetching, dog and bone, Klaga. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm going to just put a little bit. Ah, there was way too much bondic on there. I'm going to just put a little bondic on the edge of this to hide that seam. Okay, that should be good. Let's see if it'll work. If I can hit that with a light. All right, sweet. All right, cowboy is ready. I think. 
So I'm going to put this on in my, I have a little station that I keep all my minis that are ready to be primed. Okay. I don't want to lose them. Shall we build the scribe next? The na naked scribe? Uh-oh. What did I just do? Ooh. I got a little sliver of something in my finger. Can you guys see that? Hold on. Oh, it hurts. I don't know what it is, like a little sliver. Hold on. I think I got it. Okay, I got it. Ah, oh, that hurt. That's so weird. It was, the sliver was here, but it hurt over here. It was hitting some kind of nerve. I got it out though, I think. Maybe. All right. You need to do your diorama base for the weird, weird knob shaman. <laughs> What's that? Go and get some tweezers. I, I know, I know. Where, the thing is, is tweezers won't help if I can't see it. In fact, I still can't see it. There's something else in my finger. I love how Lady B, she mums, she mums me. <laughs> oh, hello, Raoni. We need, what is the Brazilian Portuguese word for complain? Is it the same as the Portuguese Portuguese? Reclamar and queijar? Counting down to the days you to posting you me some chocolate. Yes, send it. <laughs> You're at seven 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 a.m. It's attached. Yeah, it was. Well, now's your chance to paint the Hellboy. Right. We're gonna we're gonna try to put together this scribe. He's absolutely insane. But we're just gonna we're gonna take it one arm at a time literally all right so this is his chair i'm going to start with this since this is a big piece it has six arms already on it sorry for caring oh no i love it i'm just teasing you lamentarsi lamentarsi is to complain in in Italian that's interesting I wonder lament is in there if that that makes sense complaining lamenting they're kind of synonyms and what did I miss South African proper word for moan in Afrikaans is kerm which is kind of similar to klaga so kerm is Afrikaans with two K's? No, two A's. Okay, sorry, I just scribbled that in there. Italian. Oh, thank you for deleting a, me a message that hopefully I didn't see. Lady B, you can post a link. We're doing whip trips. Do it in the gallery. Yay. We're doing whip trips, whip, tri whip trip gallery. Nick's love. Thank you for following. So if you want to post. Ravage has an overactive immune system. Energy levels fluctuate. Yeah. I feel that. Sometimes I, I have that too. My allergies really can act up. Glad to be here. Yay. I know we're doing a whip, but I asked. Oh, you you asked what a weird knob shaman is. Okay, yes. You, please post a link. Send it to um, one of my mods like Rumble or Lamunus. And hey, Bug King or Bug King. Bug King is here now. Bug King, I've got the scribe here. And I've made him a, a mankini. So we don't have to see his bits because he definitely has bits. Um.
yeah so that's that's the scribe <laughs> we're gonna attempt to build it with no instructions because i couldn't find any i found the resin instructions but this is the plastic model which it's always a little bit different <laughs> all right and then over here there we go okay got all those pieces and parts that is the front there's a bunch more hands clip this with bug king here does that mean we can see the mantis yes you can see the mantis um okay so i painted the mantis from sazenly you guys might have seen it i think i posted on twitter I, I have yet to post it on my other social media yet, but I also posted it in a group. Anyway, here it is. It's awfully, awfully cool. He's really buggy. I'm going to flip him on the ground. This is much brighter, much better color. See that? Here's the base. Painted this in about two days. And I mostly airbrushed it, did some washes, and I need to still get some gloss varnish because it's got matte varnish on it, but it looks r much better with a gloss varnish on it. And it's got some of the, um, what did I use? The Turbo Dork. I, not this one, but the other one. I used some of this uh, Mother Load Turbo Dork to get kind of this beautiful pearlized sheen. And I used quite a bit of the, um, the monument metallics as well so how do you guys what do you think I think garage kits are really awesome I want to paint more of them so I'm gonna be doing that every now and then and of course um, as always I'm open for commissions with garage kits as well just have to have it every day now okay so let's see grandparents on my father's side was Dutch origin on African Scottish on my mom's nice that's cool bug king says my Karnak for my albino army of the blood god oh save that for the whip trip we're gonna do whip trip gallery bug king put it in the whip trip gallery we'll show it off then and then let's look at the weird weird knob miniature shaman thing. Hold on a second. Let me take a look at it. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know who that is. I didn't know it was called that. Hang on a second. I'm going to go ahead and show that on screen real quick. Even though I really want you to save these links for the Whip Trip Gallery. We'll show this off one second. Oops, oops, oops. Hang on one second. Let me shrink that. There we go. Lady B says, my weird knob shaman needs some love today as I haven't touched him in months. The wet blend on his cape is way better, I guess, but any feedback would be appreciated. Very nice wet blend. I like it. All right, if we can, if you want to put that up in the whip trip gallery, we can give you uh, feedback on that later. Later. Okay. Did I get it? Oh, I did not. Hold on. Oop, there we go. Lo-fi hip hop. Okay, let's find some lo-fi hip hop. Hold on one second. Let's see. Um, I think this one might be. Hold on, whoops. Nope. This might be the lo lo-fi hip-hop. Let's see if I can hear it. Hold on. Yep, that's it. 
Looking amazing. Thank you, Amberton. Yeah, it's a garage. The, the Mantis is a garage kit from Sazen Lee. I found him through um, Electric Eve, who's been doing a few of his kits. And she put me in touch with his, like, broker person who is like a go-between. Oh, my goodness. There is some mold lines on this. Get rid of all those. At least the obvious ones, anyway. All right. I'm going to use this stuff. Oh, that we got some plastic glue on on the on the plastic. There we go. We get that off there. Much better. Okay. Well, that fit right in there. That's awesome. Perfect. That's the first piece. Thank you, Bug King. You guys like that? So really low production runs of a sculpt. Uh, yeah, low production means like not very many. Um, I think that Mantis kit though is an open edition. So I don't, I think he's got a few more of those than he does on the other one. Most of his other stuff is kind of like, um, what do you call it? Um, Pre-order stuff. This is so hard. There are so many arms. Well, let's find the seat. Maybe there isn't a seat. Hmm. Oh, I should never have agreed to do this. <laughs> So many arms. Oh wait, that is a big piece right there. So let's look. It's like a puzzle. I bet that goes back there. Let's let's clip it out and see. Right, I know that was Lady B's. Sorry. I wanted you to put your link in the whip trip gallery. Cause we're gonna do that today. Oh, you're at work, no pictures for you today? Okay. That's no problem, I get ya. Oh, I see, okay, now it makes sense. All right, let's see. Does this go down here? Kind of, kind of, oh, there it goes. Okay, it does fit. Okay, so now, see, dry fit everything. Go ahead and put that on. It's, it's basically a section for more arms. There we go. Holy cow. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my gosh, I didn't even want to count. I'll just get all flustered if I do. All right, let's do this set of arms. I think I'm not going to bother scraping mold lines. I'm going to lose my mind if I do. Hello, Double Fruity. You're finally off the phone. <laughs> Bug King says, I have an Erd from Oh My Goddess made by Deviant Artist. He's made a total of three copies so far, and I need to work on that. Awesome. Oh, 
glasses are off for a second. There's a lot of, a lot of, going to be a lot of little, um, scars to cut off of this. All right. So I think this goes around the back. I'm guessing. Ooh, where would it go if I were a sprue? I think it goes right there. Yeah, it seems to fit exactly. Before I do that, though, let's smooth that out. Looking forward to seeing your guys' stuff today. Okay. There we go. So many arms. Okay, so that was one. I wonder if there's there's another big arm section that probably goes on the other side. I figure if I do the big ones first, I can narrow it down. Maybe. You love all my goddess. That's an anime, right? All right. Okay, let's try to put this one on this side. Yep, it goes right there. Perfectly. Okay, I'm trying not to use too much of my glue, so that way, there we go, perfect. This is really, he's pretty small, I'm kind of surprised. So that guy goes right there, where's the rest of his seat though? So many arms. Oh my goodness. All right, there's the book. I think the book goes in front of him. Well, we can, we can do the legs. There's one on. We can do the arms too. Cut out the whole scrub body because we know that that's all part of him. See, we've got a, we got a, yeah, there's a leg. There's another leg right here too. All right, so we got two arms and a leg. These are all the other arms. So many arms. I'm gonna turn my volume down just a smidge. There we go. It is tiny. It's pretty much, the scribe is a little bit bigger than the, um, so he, she, there's a few humans here. She's kind of, tied up or her legs are bound that's weird oh that's right i feel like he has a human footstool 
It's such a weird model. I hope nobody is offended. It is Kingdom Death. I'm going to have to mark this, uh, this, this video is going to be demonetized because of Kingdom Death. <laughs> Demonetized. Okay. He's got a nice little mole line right there to scrape off. There's his first arm. Oh, that's cool. Let's take, oh, you know what? I might have to get rid of some of this sticky tack. Hopefully that will cover up one of the, yeah, it does. Okay, so it covers up his, his body. Welcome, who just followed us? Anzig138, thank you so much for following. There's a weird ab abomination holding his book. Oh yeah. Yeah, that book has, it's got like a spine and it's really sick. Like very, um, Geiger, Giger. You haven't done any hobby work since last week's whip trip. You gave me advice. Okay, well, that's good. If you decide you just want to get rid of it, you know, because of time and all that. <laughs> that's funny. All right, so that fits. That fits really good. There is some mold lines I'm going to scrape off his hand real quick. Let's try not to cut his face. Okay. There's a mold line. Or not a mold line, but a... Uh, Oh no, it's very sticky stick tack. Oh my goodness, and there's another huge mold line right here on his shoulder. Okay, and then his hair, I just noticed that. He's got Neil Diamond's hair. Shall we paint him to look like Neil Diamond's? What do you think? Song, song, blue. <laughs> All right, foot. Oh, he's stepping on babies. This is so wrong. This model is so wrong. It's so weird. Again, I apologize if this offends anyone. That's probably why no one has ever built him on stream before. <laughs> I didn't know he had a. Yeah, I knew he had people. I didn't know it was a baby. That's messed up. So, okay, I'm gonna read you the lore of the scribe just so we can know what the heck is going on with this guy. So we know, what, he is a monster. He is a monster in the game. He's got those pe pediatric pumped up kicks. <laughs> Oh my god, that is terrible. Okay, so here's here's the information I have about the, the scribe. Here is the power behind the kings and their armies. To men, he is a god made flesh, appearing in repose atop his throne with his tome hoisted by a grotesque tableau of slaves. Oh, gross. In his book, the words are writ into reality, sowing the seeds of small human settlements into existence with the stroke of his quill. Once the humans grow and reproduce, the scribe will return to harvest his crop. That's definitely weird. Okay, I see now. I'm going to look at this closer so I can see what... Okay, so he's actually... His throne is just hands, which is weird. 
he does have a lap lap um, cloth so we'll give him his lap cloth pretty soon but yeah that's he's a weirdo oh my gosh <laughs> hi Anzig how are you thank you so much for following us we're, we're, we're building the Kingdom Death Scribe, which is a weird, weird model, so hopefully this won't be a bad first impression. Okay, I'm checking for mold lines. That one's pretty good. All right. Do a little bit of glue around the edge of that leg. Okay. Not bad. Oops. Let's clip that. I'd rather clip that. Now we can file it or slice it. Somebody sent this to me because they didn't think they would ever they were ever going to build it so we may paint this and auction it off which would be really cool because i don't honestly think i've seen anybody give away a scribe before they're kind of rare i think they came with um a special bag set it's coming out in the when is it coming out it's coming out with the um, expansion because I believe it's going to have its own expansion. Here we go. Little baby feet. Oh my gosh. that on and get all the excess glue okay Let's see oh yeah okay disclaimer show she does not condone condone necrophilia nor does she enjoy necrophilia kdm is a game and as such, all the lore is fictional. Thank you for understanding. Yes, thank you for that disclaimer. Yes. You remember seeing a 3D printed Kingdom Death board that had the scribe modeled into the edge looking over the showdown like something out of a gladiatorial fighting pit? That sounds amazing. That's really cool. All right. Now we have the, la the last arm. And then we have all the difficult parts still. Okay. Got a lot of mold line on that arm. We've got a missing thumb. That's okay. By the way, is there anybody here who is from Fair, from uh, France? Is is, is uh, Millennia here today? Millennia is one of our local Frenchies. Um, I've been watching this show that's really really cute on Netflix called Emily in Paris. It's it's really cute. It's funny though because she's about a girl. She's in her twenties. She goes to Paris. She doesn't speak any. French at all and she works for this uh, Parisian marketing firm and all the crazy stuff that happens it's kind of like um, it's very it's a rom-com kind of show it's pretty much exactly what you could expect but I liked it it was cute okay why is that okay no that's right yep he's reclined All right, let's get this other arm on. Okay. 
too much too much glue there we go oh and I just found a little bit of mold line on the back there we go all right let's take a look at chat I think the gambler's chest yeah I think you're I think you're right I think it is in the gambler's chest there monks <laughs> hi tea speaks so the KDM is into dresses I don't, he's got a he's got a he's got cloth I just don't know where it all goes um, I've got some I think we'll put this all on next um, let me look one oh he's yeah he's he's absolutely he's super naked what we have cloth to cover up everything so you have the option of leaving him naked or not we're gonna cover him up so that way we can still use him on twitch we just have to figure out how this goes I think it's this one is in the middle yeah that's that's the part that covers the bits and then they think these these go over his feet I think I don't know let's cut this one out so difficult <laughs> yeah cover up sorry scribe next time hmm I don't know. Has anybody ever had to put a, together a model without instructions before and just figure it out? This is how the old school Kingdom Death used to be. Used to do this with everything. Okay, that's coming off of one of the sides of him. Yeah, that goes there. That makes it easy. And then does this go? Hold on. Yeah, that goes there. That means there's. Hold on. I'm getting it slowly. Maybe. I feel like the metal music that's playing right now wasn't the best choice for this because it's always a little more stress inducing. <laughs> okay. So, if this goes right here, then it definitely, I think that's how that goes. We're get out, we're get out, let's get out all the pieces of the cloth so that they're all accounted for. Okay. Some of the cloth goes over his lap. Some of it goes over his foot. And I don't know what if piece is which. I think this one might be a foot piece. Okay. Let's get all the scars off first. If you know what, if somebody wants to dig up the link for the uh, plastics or the resin scribe, I might be able to follow that. It might not be the same though. That's the only thing. They tend to cut them different. But it could help. All right, there we go. You love KDM as a concept. Shame, it's like three 
30,000 times more expensive and missing sales. I know. Get out of Gecko. If you want to take a break from the fiddly. <laughs> Hi, all right, backside. I think we will take a little break from, from fiddly minis. Hold on. We're going to look at it. We're going to do a stretch. Oh, did you hear that? By the way, the geckos were really cranky last time, and I figured out part of it was because they were, I think they were out of water. So I put a lot of water in there. There's lots of photos. Oh, thank you. Okay, we're going to look at that. Okay, that helps a ton. Oh, wow, that's great. I need to make that bigger so I can look at that. All right, I figured, okay. So, this piece does go here. And it has another piece, maybe? Nope. Oh, it goes over here on this part of his leg. Oh. So, then this piece must well let's try this way nope that one does go this way I think oh nope Okay, hold on. That piece goes in the middle for sure. So annoying. Oh. Bear with me. There we go. Okay. There, now I've got a front front view. So. <laughs> this is the this is this is going to be a very frustrating model, I can tell you that. Oh, that piece goes in the middle of his leg right here. Maybe. Oh, there's a flat bit right there. Can you see that? All right, let's take a break. Let's get out of Gecko so I can think a minute. <laughs> it's okay, I don't mind. You are, you are, you are a good mom. Okay, my water. Let's get out of Gecko. Let's see if anybody wants to be gotten out. Because last time Peppercorn was in a mood. She was hissing at me. Although they have eaten, so maybe they are much in a, in a better mood today. Come on, Peppercorn, can I get you out today? Will you let me touch you? Okay, good. Peppercorn let me pick her up, so that's a good sign. She needs a little humidity in her tank, though. I think she sees herself in... Here, I'm going to turn... <laughs> Alright. I'm going to minimize my screen so she, she can't see herself in my computer. There we go. Is that better? Can you see that? See, now I can't see if she's on camera or not. There we go. That's better. Yeah, there we go. Peppercorn. <laughs> Just 
being a baby. Then you can see overhead. See if I, do I need to minimize? There we go. Squish, 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 squish. She's got a little shed on her tail still, which I need to get that off, but she had a much better shed this past time. She is adorable. She's a good girl. She needs to be handled a little bit more than I have been because she gets a little feisty. All right, Biscuit wants out. Come here, Biscuit. It's so funny. They, they actually like weigh differently after they've eaten. Here's Biscuit. Flip. See if I can get her to. There we go. She's so cute. She is so she is such a better temperament. She don't like the light. Because it's bright. Probably be a bit better if you knew how to get together. You want to get her? How old are they? So Ginger Biscuit is four years old and Peppercorn is three. And they can live to be 15. They're really cute. Here. She's like, the light is bright. <laughs> Yes, she does want to turn out. They both need some. I need to miss their tank. Oh, that's not a miss. That's a jet. There we go. Just a little humidity. It gets dry in the winter time, and I have to mist it more often. There we go. Give it a little stretch. It is four o'clock. I think at 4.30 we're gonna do our whip trip. Hopefully we can get some more headway on the scribe. We're gonna we're gonna dog and bone and we're gonna beklagen. Wir beklagen. Wir mecken. Wir beschweren. <laughs> Did I did you see the post? I did not. I'll have to take a look at it. Thanks for letting me know, though. All right. I think that one might go right there. It doesn't quite fit on his leg. Wait, that, that one definitely goes on the ground. Hi, Iggy. Yep, it's not a leopard gecko. It's an African fat-tailed gecko. They are kind of cousins. One is from uh, Iraq or Iran. I can't remember which one. Leopard geckos are from that side of the the world. And then African fat-tailed geckos are from the West Africa. But they're, they're similar. They're just, they're different though. Rumble says, how fiddly are the new Necrons? All right, backside. Yeah, I think she might be scared of herself. She sees herself on camera, I think. She also doesn't like the light. That's the other reason why she turns around. All right, we're going to play this again. There we go. Got some more metal coming up. It looks like a nappy. What? Oh, yeah, it does. This, this will, when we finish it. Okay. Hang on one second. Let's look at this picture. I'll look at the scribe. Ah, here we go. All right, so this. 
I'm going to have to look. Um, gosh. No. How frustrating. You know what I just realized? This goes right here. Covers that leg. Yep. Yep. Okay. That makes me happy. Now, whoa, that means this piece covers up his bits, right? Yep. Kind of right there. Okay. Yep. That goes right there. And then this piece does go on this side. And then, okay, I'm starting to figure this out. So hold on. We need, aha, that piece goes right there. Yes. Haha. -ha. Okay. I may have to put this together off camera a little bit so you don't see his bits. Hang on. There we go. That goes right there. Perfect. Okay. Glue, glue, glue. Yeah, I think this goes right about there. I feel like I'm goofing it up. There, I did it. Okay. Now. <laughs> ah! Okay, and this piece, let's let that solidify a little bit more. This piece goes right there. Okay. Let me see if I can get this blue tack off of him. I have to do this off camera so you don't see what I'm doing. Yep. Okay. Don't look at his bits. <laughs> All right, I'm going to glue this onto him so he's he will be he'll be covered his his man parts which none of us can handle cuz we're not adults. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Now this piece goes off the side of his leg. Right there. Don't fall off. Oh my goodness. Hold on, it's kind of loose. All right, that's better. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Exposure. You killed the chat. Does it? Wait, wait, wait. It's all kicking off with Amazon. And your Dremel bits are coming. Your husband bought you a Dremel. That's cool. Hubby thinks the way to your heart is through chocolate and heavy machinery. He's correct. Does KDM come with zero? This KDM model comes with zero. Uh, zero. There, there we go. That goes right there. The core game has official instructions. 
And actually, the core the core game has some um, online instructions as well for building building these models, which is nice. You have to pee with companies that make it difficult. Cough, preacher, caster, cough. <laughs> You should. All right, there we go. Slowly but surely. Okay, I'm guessing. Hold on, I need to look at him. Where these other pieces go. And I'm also seeing that there's gaps in here. So I'm going to just fill those with a little um, model, model glue. Get to watch my stream, Trollbait. How are you? This has been an interesting one for sure. Okay, so this goes up in here, right? Nope. Goes this way. There we go. Ah, maybe not. Oh no, it does go this way. Hmm. Ah, this goes over his foot. So. Aha. Okay, good. There we go. Oh, that fits. It's a little different than the other one, I think. Oh, what happened? Oh, I think one of our... We got a YouTube subscriber. Whenever you see that little zombie, it means we got a YouTube subscriber. Which I'm always happy about. There we go. And then, see this attaches here. Um, I hope I didn't just moon you guys. Hold on a second. Let's put that right there. There we go. Perfect. Nice. All right. Awesome. That was one of the most difficult things I've put together in a long time. You have no long idea how it took you. Oh, you found the instructions to the Boreal Tree Walker. It took you two weeks to find them on CreatureCaster website. It was buried in a post on their blog. Oh, man. You've been good. You had the third kiddo one and a half months ago. Yeah. Are you sleeping okay? That's a lot of work. All right, now we've got all these extra hands. Shall we start trying to figure out where the hands go? Hmm. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna look for the ones with the big pieces. Maybe that's it. I cannot believe I decided to put this together. We may just skip. We, let's just skip. Do you guys want to keep? You want me to keep putting together the scribe, or do you want to see the other one? We'll, we'll do a few of these hands because these are bigger. If you let me know in chat if you want me to start building uh, the horse heresy model here, we can we can always switch over. That is not a problem. And I want to do all three a little bit anyway. Okay, so on the back here, he's got... Oh, here we go. That might... Nope, nope. Maybe over here. Ugh. This is insanity. I think... There's actually, I should make a roll for insanity for this model. <laughs> is that the lion? It is the lion right here. It's 
<laughs> Where don't they go? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's the whole thing. Well, like I said, I'm going to I'm going to keep taking these off and see if I can find a few of them anyway. Paint, paint, paint. We're not painting today, but we will paint um, we'll, we'll paint on Friday. We're going to start painting the Lionel Johnson on Friday. All right, this one seems like it might be easier. Maybe there? Ooh, nope. needs numbers all right I will keep doing this until I find one that fits like I said it's like a puzzle this one seems like it might be easier so usually they're kind of all kind of together so maybe once we find one to go in we'll be able to figure out where the others okay that looks like it goes on an edge maybe there See the hands seem to. Oh, I bet the I bet these are the seat. Nope. Wait, wait, wait. Almost. Nope. Ah. No, wait, here? Yes, <laughs> that, that is a rush. When you find a piece, it's, it is like a rush. Holy cow. That is amazing. Okay, so then let's see if these other ones go on the bottom too, because that they were all kind of together. I bet they do, though. Hmm. Maybe. I'm happy that fits in that one, though. I think. Oh, I think this one might go here. Yup, yup, yup. Okay, that's good. I'm getting it. That one does go there. Woo! Oh my gosh. That's exciting. When you get a piece that goes together, then maybe this one goes on this side. Mm, yep. Oh my god. So excited. That's crazy. I would have not gotten that one before. Wow. Doing a little happy dance now. <laughs> All right, let's do this this one. Now, like once you, like I said, once you figure out where the row is that they're coming from, it's a little bit easier. And by the way, if anybody is trying to put this together themselves, this is the sprue with the book on it and it's the middle row. So hopefully that will help somebody. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, oop, jumped out of my hand. I think it does go there. Looks like it does. It does. There we go. All right, somebody po post the whip trip gallery again because I just want to make sure people know we're doing that today. Whip trip gallery. 
every Wednesday. Oh, I like that. Okay. One more arm on that row. Thank you for posting that. You built the king and the twilight cloak from that bundle. You still need to do the scribe. Well, this maybe you can go back and watch this then. Maybe it will be helpful. This is definitely one on the bottom because the hand is flat. Can you see how the hand is flat? That means it, it's holding up this, the chair, which is part of the throne. So let's look on the bottom. Where? Oh, does it go right there? I think it, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, maybe there, maybe there. Yep, it goes there. So you put together the king. You, you painted it too, right, Rumble? Do you have, you started painting it, right? There we go. So this is how, that's how the chair's gonna sit. Oh, we got a whole, whole thing done. That's amazing. Let's do the next row. What is the hardest model that any of you guys have ever had to put together? A kingdom death is definitely, it's definitely always been kingdom death for me. All right, so this is a thin one. This one goes here, maybe? Maybe not. This is tricky. All right, I'm going to lay it down. Keep, keep trying. Kingdom Death Phoenix, yeah. Did you cuss a lot? I put to get when I first put together the the Lonely Tree, I, br I had to break it. The Lonely Tree didn't have any instructions back then, or no, it did have instructions, and the instructions were online on Vibrant Lantern. But at the time, now they've fixed it since then, but at the time the instructions were not accurate, and I ended up having to break the model to get it to. That, I think that goes right there. Yep. Wait. Nope. Boy, it sure looks like it does, but it doesn't. Yes, it does. Ah! Nope. Pretty sure it goes on the side here. Ooh, maybe there. Maybe here. Yep, goes right there. Isn't that wild? There is a, a guy whose job is to basically figure out how each one of these pieces gets broken up and and sculpt and put into the the thing all right now maybe this piece goes right there yep it goes right there this is why sometimes you need to put in another piece before it, that last piece can go in there we go I think Rumble is packing his entire collection every time we move house. Oh my goodness. You built it before the instructions and you glued so many of the hands to your fingers. Oh my gosh, you super glue. Model glue is better for these kinds of models, I think. You want to paint two game hunters from that kit as well? Yeah. Definitely the hardest thing is unpacking in a correct order. Oh. Okay. 
Well, see, now some of these are coming loose. I feel like this one goes here, but there's something else that goes there first. Let's do the other one. That one has, that's bigger. That'll be easier to find. Yeah, much easier, much better. That one, does it go right there? I think it does. Wait, it's a big one. Yes, Whoop. it almost went in. Yep, it does, right there. Okay. Perfect. Wow. Okay. And then we had this, which I wasn't sure where this one went. I do think it goes down here. Nope. Let's do this one. I feel like the single arms are going to be hard because they could they could mush into a bunch of different places. Ah, that one goes maybe right there. It looks like it fits, but it's almost too. Oh, I know why. Maybe like that. Nope, it's too small. It wants to go there, but it doesn't. Doesn't go. It doesn't go there. I can tell. No. That I feel like goes there. I need tweezers. Ah. Yes. Yeah, that goes there. Hold on. Get glue. So I'm having to situate, there we go, push that in there. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Do you guys think, I think that might still go there. I'm not going to mess with it. Jigsaw of a note instructions would be helpful. Exactly. You jumped into the Cadium with little or no hobby experience. Oh my gosh. And you know what? King, King of Death is like advanced. Did you feel like you were, you like jumped down a rabbit hole, pun expected? Yeah, definitely jumped in on the deep end. You answered my question before I even asked it. Yeah. I remember when I first got King of Death and I had the Lonely Tree. I really, I think I know where this one goes. That one goes here. Yep, that one definitely fits there. Let's push it in with the Zacto blade. There we go. They're co they're coming together slowly but surely. We're getting it. So many damn hands. But you know, who else is going to do this on a stream and somebody is going to appreciate this and they're going to comment in my YouTube channel. Shosha, thank you for doing this. So I didn't have to lose my mind. You lost it for me. <laughs> this one is similar. See if there's any spots on the front. Nope. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's see if that goes. Nope. Oh, maybe nope. That's a little, little hand, and I have no idea where it goes. Same with this one. You return. You are, you are, you're back. You're front. It's been a journey. And now you've gotten so many. Yeah, that's really awesome. It's a whole, it opened up a whole new hobby for you, didn't it? So were you a board gamer before this pun expected? Did, how did you get into Kingdom Death? Okay, I think... These are, this is hard. Oh my god. Sometimes people get into gaming, get into miniature gaming for different reasons, and then they realize it's a whole hobby of its own. Is Maybe, maybe, maybe. No. This is an elbow piece, so I think it... Ugh. Yeah, I have no idea about that one. That one's coming unglued. That's the other thing. I'm, I'm scared I'm going to like leave one on the sprue and then throw the sprue away. I probably would do that too. Oh, do you guys see that? This has a little any spot. So this one, I can look. That makes it easier because it's got a little, ah, nope. All right, that, that gets saved. Those are all the hands from that sprue. There's more to come. Hi. Okay. There's a big one. We need to get the big ones. Yep, board gamer and then tabletop RPGs, and you came across it on Board Game Geek. <laughs> You've never really liked money. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You've never liked money. <laughs> Or he maybe has a lot and has, you know, spent his money on it. He speaks says, thank you for doing this so we don't have to lose our minds. <laughs> well, we'll see how far we get with it. Okay, so this piece is a big one. It's got the little hands. So I'm thinking, yep, it goes right here in the middle. Oh my God. And I just realized it's completely holding, it's holding the bits. I'm not going to get graphic, but it is. Well, everybody wants that every now and then. <laughs> I'm demonetized. Demonetized. That's quite the chair right there. Shoshi, I have been getting more into the RPGs and now I have a reason to buy minis. I just think look cool. I will use them eventually, right? Right? I don't have a problem. <laughs> the, the first step is admitting that you have a problem. Right? Okay. So these, now I figured out where these pieces go. Right here. I think. Because this is like... Oh, right. Maybe. Nope. So 
So this is kind of a cupped hand, and I think it is not sure where that goes. Let's get out one of the bigger pieces again. I think a lot of these pieces go underneath. Let's look at this. Ah, here we go. There's a nice one. This like looks like it might be part of the chair. The the stool part of it. Ah. Maybe, 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 yep, 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 maybe. Yep. Okay, good. That looks good. Let's see. That's not the one I want. Here's another one. I think all these go on the sides. Ooh, jumping out of my hands. That's the other thing. We uh, knock on wood. Knock on wood. There we go. Um, things have not fallen on the floor, which is kind of a miracle in itself. Oh, I think that goes. Mm, oh, it goes right here for sure. Is it for sure? Nope. Yep, it is for sure. Yep, that goes right there. This is crazy. Let's see how this... Yeah, that is absolutely... <laughs> Such a weird chair. It's so gross. It's completely cupping him in the back. <sighs> you need to have a good supply of minis to cover every possible, yeah, <laughs> eventuality. That's the thing is, you guys have seen me. I paint all kinds of different minis, and then I get all you guys into them, and it becomes, a, it, it that's how it works. All right, there we go. Um, let's do this one. Whip to the clippers. We're getting close to time where we're going to do our whip trips, so we're going to get as many of these on here as I can before that. Okay. Mike is making steak for dinner tonight. I'm looking forward to that. Oh, does that go there? No, does it? Maybe? Oh, yep, I think. I think it goes. It looks like it should go there, but it doesn't. Mm -mm. Oh, maybe there. Oop, I dropped it. Maybe. Yeah, I think it goes there. Yeah, I think it does. It does. It fits in there nice. Maybe. There we go. Mm. No, it doesn't. No. Let's flip it upside down. Maybe it goes the other way. Yeah. I think it. No. Hmm. No, it wants. It, it's, it's like it. 
I don't know. Let me try here. No. <laughs> what a pain. Okay. There. There. It does go there. Perfect. Oh my god. Now, do I need... Oh wow, that's going to be so cool. Alright, let me take a second. You are the problem, I am. <laughs> Yo, Kami, hello, how are you? It's okay. We pretty much always stream the same time every day, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Imagine losing your mind building this mini and then ending up with spare parts. And I kind of feel like I'd be surprised if you didn't have a few spare parts after this, but they all have their own place. That's the thing. I just knocked an arm off. There it is. Oi. All right. No idea. All right. Hmm. Maybe. Nope. <laughs> ah, I'm going to I'm going to definitely finish this tonight though. I I guarantee you cuz I will my my brain is like I must do it. Must. Let's see if we lost our music. Hold on. You're fine. Oh, good. We were, I want to show you real quick. We did some Yiddish word of the day is Kvetch. And the German word for it is Mekern, Beklagen, and Beschweren. And then we had the Portuguese, Reclamar, Keixar, Keixar, Lamentar is Italian, Keixar. Gocha Gocha, is it Gocha Gocha in Japanese? And Kerm in Afrikaans. This is all means to complain or to gripe. Whinge and Dog and Bone and in, in Sweden, Klaga. So we were sharing our, our language. <laughs> Which is something we like to do on the channel. All right. That, oh, that piece looks like it might go there. Maybe. Oh. Maybe not. So annoying. Oh. All right. I think I'm giving up. Just for the, just for now, we're gonna put these other little. Did a bunch of arms just fall off my desk? I think they did. Oh, there they are, right there. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna put these. I need a little bag or something to put them in. Here, I'll use this bag here for all my scribe pieces. Here's our scribe. His crazy chair of arms. His armchair. His armchair. <sighs> oh, cool. Polish word. And I don't know if I can say this. I probably can't say it. I like to learn Polish, though. I'm going to learn. I just got my Polish citizenship recently. So I'm dual citizenship, U.S. and Polish. Okay, where is my pen? 
S K A R Z with a little circle on top and Y with a C with an accent C I E with a little squiggle oh can you guys see that this is the Polish let me see if I can where's my phone go I'm gonna see if I can pronounce this hold on one moment I like to use Google Translate a lot. Okay, Polish. And to complain. There we go. Okay, and then it'll let me say it. Let me see if I can say it. I'm close. I need to work on it. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Where I'm from, if you pleep or gurn. Oh, that's another one. Where are you from? Inga, uh, sorry, double fruity. All right, so pleep or plum. Pleep or gurn. That means complain. Yeah, it is a hard word. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and look at our whip trips today. Dog and bone is phone. No, I think dog and bone is complain. Like bit like bitch and moan, get it? Get it? Bitch and moan. Dog and bone. Get it? <laughs> Makes sense to me. And if I thought you were the one that suggested that too, maybe I was wrong. It could be phone as well. It is phone. <laughs> All right, dog and bone is phone. I thought, so remember we thought telephone and then some, I thought dog and bone and then, ah, that's how we got garden gnome. Is it garden gnome? Garden gnome means to, <laughs> he forgot his uh, sarcasm emotes. He forgot your sarcasm emotes. All right, let's go ahead and pull up the discord. Exclamation point whip trip. If you want to get into the whip trip gallery and show off and show and tell, now is the time. It does not have to be a miniature. Last year, last week we had some really cute, you're just rhyming. Last time we had some really cute cats. Oh, yawn. Sorry, don't mean to make you guys tired. Mm. All right, let's go into triptych. There we go. Oh my God, beautiful. Today is the seventh. There's both. That's a Lord's Dragon. Let's open that. Okay, hold on. Let me close some of these other things. Reaper Crip, uh, Kiprix, Kiprixis. That's who it is. I think that's how I say it. Kif Brixis, that sounds right. Okay, open me. Thank you. All right, and then Amberton. Whoa, very cool. That is neat, Amberton. Very cool. Amberton, are you here? <gasps> Double Fruities Cupcakes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And then Rumbles. Red Skeleton, I think his name is. Red Skull? Red Skull or Red Skeleton? Laminous. Okay. Open link. Raoni. Nice sculpture. You got a sculpted orc. Very cool. Okay. Let's do Tumblr and then 
we're gonna hopefully look at all the clues. Oh, that's it. Okay, so that's it. We don't have too many today, guys, so put some more in so we can show up all the stuff. Okay, are we ready? Let's take a look at the Whip Trip Gallery here. Shrink that. Oh, Alright, first up is Batalur uh, Reaper. Um, Kyphrixus. Kyphrixus. I think that's how I'm supposed to say that. Kyphrixus. Look at this beautiful dragon really really nice copper dragon third built paint so this is the third one you built and painted all right let's take a little bit closer look let me do a little yeah we're going to show you the cupcakes in just a minute let's look at this dragon a little bit whoops there we go there is better close-up of it the rock looks exactly like rock that's awesome and you did the blends on the wings very nice take a look at the back gorgeous this is a reaper bones really 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 nice wow I like that reflection going down the arm a little bit blurry but that's okay because that's because I zoomed in. I want to see these little guys down here. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, let me see if I can move over. Look, the Reaper Bones mice. I love. And there's a little baby Crixus. Kai Crixus. That's awesome. Let's see if I can control. There we go. That's good. Very nice. Oh, this one is Amberton. Look at this frogman. He's so cool. Got some OSL going on. Okay, so Amberton with OSL, you've got some down here on the leaves, and I can see what you're doing. You've kind of got like a cast shadow, but there's one thing I would do to really make this to sell this. Um, light is to darken the rest of the pole and some of the ground like really go dark and that will make everything else seem like it's glowing because that's one thing you need with osl is that contrast but note the osl has the shadow from the arm i know and i do see that but it's it doesn't it doesn't sell for me yet because you need shadow everywhere around the light does that make sense? Yeah, those mouselings are so cute on the last one. <laughs> but he's looking really good, and I love the I love the markings that he's got on his head, and everything is looking really good. Um, on his claws, if I were you, I would stay away from white because it's kind of looking a little chalky, and it's kind of drawing my eye over to his hand. Whereas you, the white on his eye is fine, but maybe go with a bone color instead of instead of a white for his claws. Yeah, that's just my take on it. You were using the scale seventy five fluorescent paints, but you found red. Yeah, I didn't. Re I didn't really care for those. I think. Uh, re um, Vallejo. Oh, Vallejo makes better fluorescence, for, in my opinion. These are double, double Fruities cupcakes, and they look amazing. Oh, my gosh. Let me check real quick. So, Double Fruities cupcakes for her gym. You go, you're you able to go to the gym? We're, our gyms are all shut down right now. You made a start on Red Skull from the Marvel Uni United's Chibi game. Okay, let's look at the TV. Red Skull. Who's next? Oh, he is adorable. I love him. Very nice. It looks very good start. Maybe like get a little dark lining in there on his coat. 
but you're, I know that you're in the middle of it. So yeah, it's very early. I could tell that. The gym is huge and we have sectioned in areas for individuals working out. That's so nice. Double fruity. Are you spoiling everybody's diet though with those delicious cupcakes? <laughs> I would eat more than one of those. <laughs> they do look delicious. You almost backed this game. You're glad you didn't. Hi, the Izzy way. How are you? Let's look at, this is, this is Lamunus. And Lamunus, the difference between this one and your last bust is so, so good. I mean, you, you can just tell you've taken so much learning. These are beautiful. Very nice. Working, work in progress. Uh, Gunhild, the Desert Wolf from Ritual Casting. She's going to be a contest entry. Long ways to go, but go bigger, but go home. Yeah, let's look at all of these pictures from the beginning of this. Look at that. I'm really excited to see the medals. When you Are you going to do metallic medals? Tell me you're going to do metallic medals. I'd really like to see that on this. You become learned. <laughs> Look at that. So beautiful. Wow. Somebody's got some airbrush skills. Very nice. Now, I do have one little critique. You've got this red and green next to each other. If you can find a way to put some red into the green and some green into the red a little bit to help kind of pull them together, I think maybe do that. Although I do see you've got some green shadows here that, well, they could be green. They look blue right there, but when you mix these two colors, this red and this green together, if you get a purpley color, that would be preferable. Don't steer away from the brown. Go with, go with the purpley color. It'll be more saturated and more pretty. Yeah, thank you for the cake, lug, everyone. The feedback I got from the gym buddies was yum, so I can't ask for more. <laughs> There's the side view. This really looks like a leather boot over here. It looks like suede. Oh, and this is Ra Raoni Arts. This is an orc that he's working in. Mr. Human, thank you for subscribing. I'm gonna write down your name. Hold on one second. Let's write down Mr. Human. We've got our subscribers covered. We didn't have any. You're the first one to subscribe today, Mr. Human. H U G H A H N. Oop, there we go. Thank you so much. I think I spelled it wrong. This is an M. There. There we go. Thank you for the love and the subscription. 13 months in a row. And it's great to see you back. By the way, if you have anything for the Whip Trip Gallery, get it in there now. Exclamation point Whip Trip if you need the link. Anyway, this orc is gonna be amazing. I can already see like he's got a lot of power. I like his eyes, his eyes are gonna be cool. Let's see if I can zoom in on this a little bit. One second. Zoop, wait, we gotta switch back to whip trips. Let's go back to looking at the orc. Is it working? There, now do you see it? All right, good. Looking really good. Wow, he's got an enormous head, but he's an orc. So he's proportional orc-wise, right? Very nice. There's a Shoshi's pin, it is. Where is it? It's boom, 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 boom. There it is, ha ha. <laughs> That's so great. I love it. And then let's shrink this one a little bit so we can see the whole thing. This one belongs to Tumblr. Oh, good, Star Wars Geek. We got a few more entries. Very nice work, Tumblr. Oh, you can't see, sorry. There we go. There we go. It is the Huntress. 
think it's the Hunter's pinup. You have your work cut out for you. You're going to against Pascal Ruse's version of the same model. Yeah, that's, you definitely do. You're still not seeing it? Hold on, let me try this. There, now do you see it? Hold on, hold on. Okay, now you can see it, right? There we go. Okay, this is, let me pull this down a little bit there. It's, it's weird the way my thing works here. There we go. So annoying. All right, yes. Okay, so this one is the, I think it's the Huntress pinup from Kingdom Death. Tell me if I'm wrong on that. Yep, and then we've got two more. Oh, we've got a bunch more, awesome. All right, let me go ahead and close that down. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna, what happened to my, hold on again. Let me fix this. Oop. Is it gonna work? Am I gonna be able to fix it? There we go. What an annoying OBS, it's annoying. So annoying. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sorry guys. Let's see if I can grab my frame again. There. There. I can't deal with it. OCD. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close down those other images real quick. Let's make that big so I can see those real well. There we go. Close, close, close. We're going to open those last ones. Remember, exclamation point web trip if you want to put something in. Okay. Here we go. We've got a few more entries. I love this one from Star Wars Geek. Tell me who you are in chat because I know you have a different name in chat. And then a foodie. And then unexpected. Oh wow, those are gorgeous. I love that mo those models. Wow. Okay. Unexpected has some king king of death for us. Beautiful. Okay. Let's go ahead and look at, oh my gosh, so gorgeous. So Star Wars Geek, tell us where this one is from. Hold on. Let me do whip trips. There you go, you can see that okay, right? Good, let me see if I can move this box. There we go. Nope. I can't move it. All right. The suspense is killing me. Nope, you're not seeing it. Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? You can see that now? I hope you can see it. That's the file that I printed from the Cobra Mode Patreon a few months back. Oh, it's beautiful. I love the colors. It's a, like a dragon mermaid. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> the water is cool. First time ever finished painting a miniature. That's great. Very nice. Very, very nice job. I bet you're proud. Keep that one. If that's the first time you ever finished painting a miniature, keep that one on the shelf. Don't ever get rid of it. Don't ever, it's an axolotl dragon. It's so, it's Australian dragon. Uh-huh. That's so awesome. Um. Never, like, never try to repaint it. Just, if you ever feel like you have the urge to repaint it, get another one and paint that instead to see where you've gone. It'll be really nice to have that piece. Whoa, I love these. <laughs> They're like Cobra Kai or something like that, aren't they? Um, these are from Martin 77K, old school Necromunda Orlock gang. They are awesome looking. I love it. 
classic Necromunda. I know nothing about the Necromunda uh, lore. But these guys all have, they all have different faces. They're really great. See, Pearson says, I think the first mini I ever painted got vacuumed up by the housekeepers. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Those are very nice. I really like the background that you've used on these. Where's Rainer? He'd love this. Yeah. So this is going to, oh, wow. Uh, you got one of these. Um, I think this is from Black. Oh my gosh. Rum, um, all right, Backside, tell me where this is from. I recognize it. So it's like a little... No, it's a guy with a dormouse. And he's got a, ba a basket of... Po oh, he's got some cheese and crackers. And he's got potions in his back. The mouse man. I know, he's so cute. Ask you later. He'll tell you what you know. I feel like it's black. It's the same one as where his Tinkerbell came from and, and that chickadee model that I got. And I can't remember what, yeah, what the name of it is. Yeah, he looks amazing. Let's shrink that back. There we go. And then, okay, so this is from Punexpected. These are from Kingdom Death. And this is the expansion, it's the uh, Giga Lion expansion. That's right. This is three of the survivors from the Giga Lion. So I'm guessing you're using oils again. Um, let's look back at here. So pink and green, that's an interesting choice. I, I feel like it needs a a bridge color with a little bit more of that purple like the girl on the far left has a little bit of purple in it and I think it it works a little better and same thing with the girl in the far right there's a little bit more blue but the he looks really cool he's wearing the gorm suit if I remember right yeah all oils okay that's awesome I mean, it makes me want to paint in oils too but I have no patience I don't, I don't like to wait for stuff to dry. All right, let me check to see if there's any more. There's one more, Steve V, open link. Yay, Steve V, tell us where this is from. He's so cool looking. He's like a little mech, mech-like transformer type dude. Looks awesome. Very, very nice. I think that's it. You'd like to start messing around with oil paints too? Wapple has you sold. He, I'm, I might get some of Wapple's paints just to help support him because I like him so much. Alright, let's go back up here. Night Models Lexicore character from DC Miniature Game. Nice. Do you prime differently? I think you can prime. You can, so the way oils work is you can put oils over any acrylic. But you can't, it's hard to put acry acrylic over oil. So you think of it lean over fat. Oils are fat, so you can put lean over fat, fat over lean. Fat over lean. So lean is acrylic and the fat is the oils. So you can usually do oils on top. You can also uh, do a varnish and set it, and then you can do acrylics back over the oils. Yeah, lag test. What's happening? I'm, are you lagging or am I lagging? All right. So let's go ahead and we're going to look look for someone to um, raid. Give me one second here. We're going to do all our spiel and everything because Mike says that I get cut off a lot. So um, before we find somebody to raid, I want you to um, make sure to like the channel. Subscribe if you are on YouTube and all those things I'm supposed to say. Now we're going to look for somebody to raid. So when you get ready to go over there, make sure you spam our emotes and say hi. There we go. Let's see. Who can we raid? Let's raid. Uh, let's raid. Yeah, let's raid Studio J. And we're going to go ahead. Okay. Go ahead and punch that raid button if there is one. 
and we will see you over at Studio J, and I'll be back on Friday, and we'll be we'll be building and um, painting the uh, the Lionel Johnson. Bye, guys.